can I ask, um, so doing these things, like, like I make jewelry or other things I do where I just, I just get like lost into it basically, where I lose, I basically dissolve. So this is, um, so you're saying like I could do these things why still existing in the silence, but still performing something, but not, I'm not actually thinking about it. I'm just doing it. I'm in that, I'm in that space. So it's, so I'm still functioning and living in this 3d world, but I'm, I'm able to go in and tap into the source. By, by recognizing who you are, you recognize like every moment I stop as I'm talking, right? I'm speaking right now. And then I stop. And then I speak. So what's behind it? What is the background? Like when you're writing things, what's the background of your writing? You're writing on a piece of paper. Here's lightning notes of Zarathustra. Let's say we go here. Let's see. Okay, here's the writings. What's in the back? It's empty space. You're writing on the empty space, correct? But the background is just empty space. Like here, there's nothing written here. It's empty. There's nothing, right? So this is who you are. This is who we are. And then things appear on you. But you think you're these things when you're this. When you're this, then things starts to appear on you. Always. And disappear. Ideas come and they manifest. Or ideas come and they just go away. But you remain yourself. So you're not the idea, you're the background that the idea appeared on you. So you remember who you are. Your attention is on who you really are. Then things starts to appear on it. But it's not you. It's not personal, it's impersonal. You remain your position. You're remaining in this place. You're remaining as silence, you recognize silence. So every time your mind's not busy, you are back to who you really are, which is bliss. The more you recognize that, the more things starts to, you see that there is a magic taking over. You see something is starting you start to see these invisible hands that they're behind you. So you're walking in this direction. These hands are opening up in front of you. They're opening the pathway. You think you're going in this pathway, but these hands from behind you are opening it for you. And then everything just happens. It becomes effortless. There's an appearance of effort, but it's really effortless. It just happens. Is that when things begin to feel like synchronistic? Because you're in that flow. Including if things don't go your way. Things are synchronistic, but not necessarily going your way. So all of it becomes perfect. And then you just become like water. When you pour water on a hill, how does the water go down? Does water go straight down or it just goes around things? The water chooses the path of least resistance. The water chooses the path of least resistance when it's on a hill. 
wherever is least resistance, where the water goes around it and goes through. Same thing with the life. You're getting empty, you're falling into silence, you're recognizing who you are, you're recognizing you're the background. Then in that shift, all of a sudden you begin to literally see the flow of life. It's flowing. And then you just see how things come together, how it's flowing through. And yeah, sometimes you hit resistance, means something didn't go according to what you think it should, and then you find a way around it. So nothing becomes resistant, because you have complete flexibility of going around everything or climbing over it, so there is no obstacle anymore. The obstacle was you. But now you're ultra, ultra flexible, so you just stretch around everything that you come across because you are the flow. Because there is no thinking, it just happens. Just like how this lecture today happened. I had no clue I'm going to talk about what I talked about. And I had no plans to talk about this. I had already done my homework last night and I had my notes to talk about something else. I come and sit here and my mouth opens up and talks about emptiness and silence. And I talk for an hour and a half without even thinking. It just brrr comes out. How the hell did that happen? It just happens. All you have to do is, I understand this thing says, okay, I need to maintain my silence while I'm operating in a third dimension. It's, I understand what you're saying. But, you just keep your attention on who you are, everything else happens automatically. It all reveals itself to you, it all appears to you, it all opens up and represents, it presents itself to you, you don't do it. Anybody else? Anything else? I hope I satisfied. I hope I answered your question. That was a good one. I'm glad you asked me that. Look, let me tell you another thing is that doesn't mean there is this misconception that if you have awakened or if you have realized and you have come to, you have found inner silence, you have found this place that you never have thoughts of doubts, you never have thoughts of frustration. Those are human qualities, they still happen. You're not in control of your thoughts. You're not in control of any, any kind of thought forms. Let, okay, let's say I'm pure space. Being pure space is like being pure sky. The sky doesn't say, come and say that, you know what? I am blue sky and I'm excluding anything that flies through me. So birds cannot fly in the sky anymore. I'm the master. I'm the sky and nothing can fly through me anymore. 